so begins our tale of Hamlet, Prince of Denmark. Hamlet performs the most famous soliloquy of all time, not knowing that the evil Claudius and his menacing helper are lurking in the background. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of that rageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing in them. To die. No more, and by sleep to say an end, through the heartaches and thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation to valley to be wished. To die, to sleep. To sleep, perchance to dream, aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come, when we have shuffled up this mortal coil, must give us pause. There's the respect that makes amity of so long life. Ophelia, what bring you here? Nothing. Um, um. What do you have in your hand? Nothing, your function. Frailty, thy name is woman. You jig. You amble. And you lit. I do not live. You nickname God's creatures.
This scene, Hamlet comes to Gertrude's room in the night to confront her about her hasty marriage. Unknowingly to Hamlet, Polonius is lurking in the backgrounds. Well, well, my dear mother. How could you even possibly think about throwing away my good father Hamlet's name after a mere fortnight or two? Oh, Hamlet, sweet child, I loved your father. He was a good man. Claudius has a big, big chest. Ah, yes, I've seen that. However, I do believe that I smell a rat. Driven to the edge of insanity by the death of her father, Ophelia now frolics in the castle. <laughs>